right, it's your boy. Oh, I'm so happy to be back. Um, you know we had to do it. Uh, it's a crazy world we're living in out here today. Um, we'll talk about it. That old Rona virus. That old Rona. That's what we call. That's what my grandma and them called. They called it old Rona. That old Rona running around here. Ain't that it? Listen, I got my boy Nate on the show. Go ahead, introduce yourself, and uh. I got I got I got to switch my outfit real quick. All right. Well, as he said, my name's Nate. Uh, I was born and raised here in Muncie. Um, really, lived most of my life in this town. I've I left when I was eighteen, came back when I was twenty, and I can't really say that I just like this place. I mean, there might be a lot of negativity surrounding this town. There might be a a lot of hearsay talking about Muncie's this or Muncie's that, but really I found that it really, it doesn't matter where you go. You take your personality, your baggage with you. So, I mean, essentially this place has always been home to me. I grew up here. I was born here. I went to school here. Mm. Most of my friends followed me through school. This guy, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I guess we could say I followed him. He was two years, two years my senior, but still. Um, don't don't come on don't come on here talking all that old uh, Romeo and Juliet. Uh, he was two years my senior. <laughs> don't come on here talking that old English stuff. Just just talk to the people. That's all. That's all I'm asking you to do. Just talk to the people. All right, all right, I'll do it. You know what? <laughs> Enough about that. I got on a science jacket. Yeah, because we're going to talk about that old coronavirus that's going on. They got everybody just going all crazy right now. What's yeah, going on? Yeah, people are going bonkers. Um, so, back in, back in 2018, 2019. I need to interject. All right. You acting a whole lot like this is your show. I just need you to know <laughs> that is my show. I mean, you just, I mean, just going to just, just start jumping in, just talking about the topic. I'm just messing with you, man. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> all right. Go uh, ahead, go ahead. Back back when the, we had this uh, this upper respiratory infection. Don't be calling it for what it is, first and foremost. Don't do not do that. Don't do that. Nobody panicked. Nobody was running to the store buying out all the toilet paper and hand sanitizer. Something wrong with them, ain't it? All the baby wipes and, and facial tissue. I mean, they showing out for free, ain't they? They're going crazy. And I swear, it seems like they're just doing all of this despite all of these people who have to work through the day and can't afford to, or can't actually leave work to go and buy these things. And then you've got elderly people and, you know, parents, mothers, just trying to buy diapers and wipes for their kids, and they can't even wipe their child's bottom because the everyone, for some reason, thinks cleaning their butt is going to cure the virus. Nah, I'm going to tell you like this. I'm going to tell you like this. I seen who broke out there. Cause all this all the salmon, all the shrimp, all that good stuff that got what, what what we seen, uh we seen some steak, a pack of steaks today. Oh, how yeah. much it was? Uh, how much it was? Forty three dollars. That was sitting right there. Forty three dollars. Oh, it sat right there. It was it sat right there. <laughs> well, y'all ain't y'all ain't grabbed that up. Now we know who we we know who, who who grabbing up all their food. So if you're planning on making salmon patties, you can go ahead and do that because they're too broke to buy. This. <laughs> yeah, 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 sit up there, sit up there and buy. They bought they bought the the hamburger meat. That's all right. I can buy that. Uh, what else they bought? They they they, they bought the, the the green beans. They bought the honey. They bought they bought that uh that sweet corn. That good old sweet oh, corn. Oh, the sweet we corn. Ain't gonna, we ain't gonna, I seen salmon up there. They was trying to sell that. They said we can't get rid of the salmon. Nobody's buying beans. Nobody's buying tomatoes. Oh, Nobody. that what's that? What's that one? Uh, uh the, the the Mexican food in the Mexican uh, uh, goyo. Yeah. Oh, that's all. That's just sitting up there. It's you ain't touched none there. of them. Nothing. Mm. That told me a little. That told me what I need to know. All the vegetables <laughs> are still. Uh, we we they still have plenty of produce for all you vegans out there. <laughs> now hold on. Now one of them, uh, a couple of them shelves. They was they was super duper. Empty. What was them? I bet they were some basic, some basic stuff. Where what do you I, think they was? When we when we was up to the pay list. Oh, oh God. I don't even know what what usually it be was there. Like, it was sausages. In the produce. Oh, in the produce. Man, I'm talking. Okay. <laughs> I'm 
I'm talking about in the, I'm talking about in the produce. There was some black empty shells I had seen. And uh oh, all the bagged yeah. salads. <laughs> all the bagged salads were gone. Oh. All the bagged salads was gone. And you know what? Let me talk about uh what's it called? Uh Baby Mama Island. Let me talk about them. I, I know y'all went all up there and browned all the meat. That's all they do is brown all the meat. All the seasoning was there, but the taco seasoning was gone. <laughs> the taco season was gone. That's all y'all do. I said everybody at Baby Mama Island was gonna survive off a of brown, <laughs> off a of brown, brown meat and, and taco seasoning. Cause I don't do nothing but make no taco salad. Y'all just make taco salad. What else they do over there? You you know you spend a little bit of time in Elgin, Maine. And that's what I'm talking about when I talk when I'm when I say Baby Mama Island. We okay. Let me let's give them a, a quick <laughs> history. Quite a, quite a Let bit me. Of time. But by the way, I'm a scientist today. Um. <laughs> And Baby Mama Island, a.k.a. El Jermaine, uh, a, a, a special little spot in my heart uh, in the Whiteley community. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> man, stop. I'm trying to be serious. I'm trying to help these folks. I'm this, trying to help these folks. This is the folks. first time I've heard Baby Mama. <laughs> this is the first time. You, man, what hood you from? What hood you from? What hood are you from? I thought you were from the same. Whiteley all the way. You look. You stayed. You literally stayed in Baby Mama Island. I did. You lived. Did. You lived just, there. You I spent many a night there. No, I spent a couple of nights there, and I don't. I don't. I don't want nobody in my business. You know I did. But I spent. Podcast. But I spent. But I spent a little. I spent a little bit of time. I spent a little bit of time in Baby Mama Island, uh, uh, on a couple of occasions. But 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 what, what, what I'm trying to say is this: that's Baby Mama Island. It's it, it, it's you know, when you. Pull up. Now they had it. They had two entrances and exits. Now it's just one entrance and no exit. That's that's it. Because, <laughs> <laughs> boy, that IPA got you going, don't it? Boy, you showing out. No, I'm just hey, thinking look, about why they closed that off. <laughs> so there may or may not have been some criminal activity, where you know you come in through the front, you leave out the back. They had the nerve to shut that down. Remember they did that? They, they had the nerve to put a wooden fence. They put boulders across the road before they put the fence <laughs> Look, up. now you ain't going to drive. You ain't going to drive through it. No. But you but you sure going to jump over it. <laughs> right. Because we've been jumping fences for a long time, ever since we had dogs. <laughs> but look, so uh, uh, so once, you, once, once you're invited to Baby Mama Island, you're you're allowed into that sanctuary because man, don't that happen over there? You know, it, you know, man, don't that happen over there? And um, you open up the door. Now these apartments, now you open up the door, and you just smell the taco meat <laughs> <laughs> wafting through the air. Ah, Cause there's no place like home. Because everyone's making taco salad. I, I, everybody and their mama is making taco salad all through. Monday through Monday. Every day. Making taco salad. Like it's a religion. Dog, I know you heard me say taco. Get on out my room. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Gotti. You know he make an appearance every episode. <laughs> every episode. His little one being here soon. But but you know, taco, that, that good old taco seasoning. Uh, uh, what else they make over there? Oh, a lot of fried chicken. A lot of fried chicken. A lot. A whole bunch. <laughs> a whole bunch of chicken. Pork chops. <laughs> Man, you know what? I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm gonna tell y'all secret. I'm gonna tell y'all secret. Um, I had me a little thing over there one time. I don't mean to be. I'm not putting nobody business out there. But <laughs> I had me old bougie something out there. Oh, she was big bed. <laughs> she was bougie. And she was the only baby mama on Baby Mama Island that ain't had no baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you know I'm about to go out there and watch, uh, look at, look after, look after nobody child. So was she staying with grandma or something? No, 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 <laughs> by herself. She stayed by herself. And I, I, I thought it was too good to be true. I ain't gonna lie. And my dog's fighting again. They hear me. They, they are playing. They hear me talk. They hear me talk about Baby Mama Island. They know what time it is. So, so look, <laughs> look. They do this every episode. I, I don't know. I, they do this every time. I be minding my business. Hey, hey. <clears throat> Kid, y'all stop, please. If I got to get out from this chair. Yeah. You. Anyway, no, nah, don't, don't don't call him in here. Go on about your business. And that's your child. Now keep you make your child mine. 
Anyway. So I got invited on. Right. I got invited on. Just bring it back. Talking about baby mama. The baby mama that ain't had no baby. <laughs> yeah, I got invited over. She said, she said, uh, Joe, come on over. I'm going to cook for you. Oh, I just, I said, all right, bet. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. What's your address? You know, that's back in the, they're back in the old MySpace days, though. Them, them, them MySpace days. She had inboxed me and all that. Snuck me into her top 20. We didn't want to do no top eight because I didn't want, want to be all right. in that mix because that would have really narrowed who she was talking to down. I didn't I ain't, I ain't want that. Yeah. So, so at any rate, <laughs> so I, I, I'm sick of these dogs. And y'all can have Peter, come get them. Come get them. Come get them. I don't know how to act. So, yeah. Matter of fact, both of y'all get in here and sit down. Gabby, come here. Sit. Sit down. Sit, sit down, you. both of y'all. BG. Boy, they don't listen to the first. BG. Got it. At any rate, no, 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 so so anyway, no, no, I'm not, not I'm not gonna let them ruin this this story. So okay. so this is what happened. So she gave me her address. Some, some, some Elgin. <laughs> Now, I, I said, maybe she just stay on Elgin. Maybe she just stay on Elgin. Right. She just stay on Elgin. It's a, that's a street. There, this are, is, there are quite a few houses on Elgin. There's a lot of them. And I just hope she lived in one of them. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 Stay in Elgin, man. So I said, let me get ready for this, uh, not candlelit dinner, but this, uh, this, this, this big lighter dinner <laughs> that we about to have. <laughs> Do you hear me? Hey, shout out to Chili Will, man. Much love, man. You know they got all of them over there. Listen. Big lighter. Got a big lighter, right? I went on over there, right? I said, I know I'm about to get, get myself ready for the biggest taco salad of all time. <laughs> the biggest taco salad of all time. It's going to be fire. It's going to taste like everybody else is around here. But it's going to be fire because that's one thing they can do. They brown that meat and they put that taco season on there. I was going down. Anyway, I got over there. You know what this girl had the nerve to make me? A hamburger. No, Bowling no. Sandwich. I'm doing better than that. Oh, she was. Oh, she's a bad bitch. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I say that word loosely. Girls aren't aren't bitches. She so didn't, she didn't make you a steak, did she? No, she made me some chicken tender. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she showed out. She bred. So she cut up some chicken breast. I know they came oh, from all Oh, homemade. Oh, yeah. Oh, bro. oh, oh, no, they wasn't. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look, look. It wasn't no, no. Let me let me tell you. <laughs> because I seen the flour residue in the sink. So I know these was, she made them off the strength. Yeah. So look, I get over there. I see. I smell. So I open the door. Taco salad all in there. Yeah. I said, oh, man, I'm ready. I, I might have had on my sombrero. I just knew it was about to happen. <laughs> So I go, so I, I, I opened the door, I sat down. It wasn't no big lighter right there. Yeah, it wasn't no big lighter. It was a real candle. And um, I walked in there, I sat down, she told me to take a seat. I sat there, I sat, I sat there, and I couldn't wait to have my, my, my big old taco salad. Oh, she brought me a plate out. Now, I can't give her too much credit. Right. Because it was a styrofoam plate. <laughs> now, Look, cause I didn't want. I, look, I wasn't about. I wasn't about to give it a big head. I wasn't gonna get the big head about this situation right. because I was like, hold on, it smells different in here. It don't smell like taco seasoning. You know what's it, what's it called? Or, or take what's the yellow packets? It, they got the yellow packet and the blue packet. You, I don't. I don't. I, I make my own Taco Tuesday, but with my own seasoning, I don't do all that stuff they got there. El Paso. The, El Paso. That's what it's yeah. called. El Paso. And so, I sat down. The the, the styrofoam plates was up to here. It was, oh. <laughs> Stacked them mile high. I ain't seen no toys in the house. I thought it was gonna be some kids running around there. No. Mm -mm. And she brought it. She said she gave me a little hug, kissed me on the cheek. You know, I went like this though. Look, look, look. I, 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 I wasn't sure. You know, I, maybe, I thought maybe she was hiding the kids. I don't know what's going. On. Right. And um. Yeah. She gave me. She 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 brought me a plate of chicken tenders. Bred it by herself. And you know what I saw? A big old knife. What? A real knife. 
You know how them folk come to your door and they be trying to sell you knives? Right. It wasn't them. But she had some knives, though. <laughs> <laughs> she, had, she had a knife or two. Do you hear me? She had a knife or two. And, and, and she made me. She, she, she floured them up. I, went in the, I had to go in that kitchen and just double check. I, look, I acted like I... Hey, can I get a napkin or something? Make sure she didn't sprinkle some flour in the sink. No, I didn't know what was going on. It could have been something else. We had Baby Mama Island. It could be any white substance. But she, right. I went over there. It, she had, she had, she. This episode is about coronavirus. <laughs> and uh, 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 so, 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 they going ham out there, ain't they? They're going absolutely wild. They showing out for free. <laughs> you know, I had. And usually people get paid for that. People do get paid to show out for free. I, I do it. I do it all the time. And I ain't going to tell y'all where I do it, but I show out for free, but I get paid to do it. Uh, Same here. I got you. I know you be up to that job showing out. All day. I know. Every day. I know you go up there and show out. You you go in there and say, I'm a, I, I I built this company. I know how you are. I know how you are. You go up there and act like you know everything. I got you. <laughs> everything I know anything about, I know everything about. Don't question what, it. What, what tell scientist Joe here, because I, once again, I got my... I'm a, I'm a scientist today. Tell us about uh, Corviv-19, otherwise known as coronavirus. Tell us what you know. What's going on in America? What's going on in uh, uh, Indianapolis, Indiana? What's, go- what's going on in America? What- tell me what you know about this. It's a respiratory disease. Go ahead, tell us. Well, let's see. We've got most universities closed down around here, Ball State, of course. There ain't nobody graduating there. <laughs> I don't think so. Not this year. Because you know nobody's gonna open up that laptop and do their online studying. No, I know. I'm I, sorry. I know somebody. I know. I know. No, 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 no. I know somebody that is opening up that laptop and doing their study. Well, props mm-hmm. to them. Last last time I checked, Madison Madison better be doing it. But hey, anyway, hey. but anyway, but anyway, go go ahead. The rest of the state. Uh, <laughs> the rest of the state. The rest of the state. Most of the clu- most of the schools are closed down. Mm-hmm. Uh, doing online studies. You've got libraries closing down. You've got. Restaurants, drive through only, no sit down at all. Uh, and apparently, <laughs> on the radio, I was listening to it this morning. What you heard on the radio? Uh, Trump signed an executive order to uh, do what? To fund all of these small businesses and restaurants that are being affected by coronavirus. Uh, you, 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 uh, <coughs> <laughs> I, now I feel like I'm a, I'm a small business. <laughs> no, so, so, so hold on. So do we need an address? What he, what he going to do? Do I need to hit him up on Twitter? Because he like to be on there. So what we doing? Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Just, so, <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a there's a portal that's being open for any business owner. A portal. Okay, okay, on, okay. Online for you to go in, fill out information, and request mm. uh, compensatory aid, I guess I should say. Yeah, I need a little bit of aid, too, because I, I, you know, the way my, my nose was running today, and I had, I, you know, I had went to the bathroom and used my toilet paper that I got over here for 499 <laughs> and that y'all can get for 499 I do it on Amazon. Right. Hey, <laughs> no, nah, but, 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 but on the real, what, what are, what are we really, in a sense, what is he, what is this supposed to do? Who, who's supposed to get the money? Because there's a lot of folk out there that think they about to get a, get a check. Now, well, what you supposed to do to get the check? Because uh, I don't think everybody's supposed to get a check. Cause I know some folk ain't did nothing. If they you, are, ain't, ain't punched the clock. Right. <laughs> and they talking about they getting a check. Now, what you getting a check for? You need to live like you been living. That's what I say. Live what you been living. Right. But you go ahead and tell who's supposed to get the check. Give them the give them the guidelines. What they supposed to get? Who who's supposed to get some money? If you if you work in a dine in restaurant and do not do carry out mm-hmm. you are probably getting a check um, I have are a server yes okay I have I have I have hey. actually does do carry out they do oh they do they yeah. let you in the building they'll let you in the building to do carry damn out. why can I get in about four no, weeks ago no I, go ahead keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. So they, so they showed they let me in there I just you know I had just came back from Indianapolis I went to club uh, club blue and I had came back I was looking you know, go ahead. Just keep telling the stipulations. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm not going to talk about why I ain't getting out of the other day. doing DoorDash or something like that. Oh, but, speaking uh, of DoorDash, shout out to my boy Richard. <laughs> but we'll just, I'm going to leave that be. I'm not going to tell him who he's with and who is DoorDashing. But just go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Get that money. <laughs> oh, he had on a fur collar, didn't he? <laughs> hey, he had on a fur coat. Go Man. ahead. Go ahead. Fresh oh. tax season. <laughs> 
what if that, that text check that text check came right on time, didn't it? Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Who, 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 now who's supposed to be getting getting a thousand dollars? Now you said so. Uh, so restaurant workers that don't do a uh, 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 carry out and things like that. Or, right. You know, if you're a server, right. Obviously, if, you if can't serve ser- nobody. Exactly. Okay. If you can't okay. serve anybody, you're probably not. Or you're probably not going to get paid. So mm-hmm. you're probably going to be. Uh, Getting something from your company. I hope so. Just I would hope talk so. to your managers. So. Talk to your bosses. Mm-hmm. Um, managers. Also, if your restaurant has completely closed down, you are probably also eligible for compensation. Um, if you, if you're working in the manufacturing industry, be careful because I heard on the news today that a good portion of manufacturing plants in North America will be closing down because of coronavirus. That has me heated because I'm in manufacturing and I need that paycheck. So I really hope that doesn't happen. Y'all see how folk act? He used to manufacture burritos. Now he in that, now he in the manufacturing. <laughs> y'all see how, y'all see how God work. <laughs> hey, you know, y'all I see how God that. work. I'm, I'm just showing out for free. All Listen, right. <laughs> and I'm mad at you. Do you hear me? So, so, what? what anything else you heard? To... Quit panicking. There's no point in going. I to said, the did store. you hear something else? You over here trying to tell folk how okay. they supposed to live their life. Well, I heard. I heard. I'm gonna ask doctor, that later. I heard a okay. doctor. Okay. Say <laughs> that this this whole this whole bit surrounding coronavirus. All, everything that the media has been putting out has been doing nothing but spreading panic, and I couldn't ag- I couldn't agree with them more. That's that's really the most I've got to say on that part because people are acting a fool. They, so they're showing out. They're showing out. I get it all the way. Uh oh. So I mean, I show out on a daily basis, but I know you, you show out. See me going bulk buying TP, expecting people to s- buy it out of my garage. I'm not about to sell a roll for two dollars. I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that to you. I'll let you go to the store and buy it yourself. Oh, oh tell them like it is. Dollar General also <laughs> is opening. Uh, they're they're reserving their first hour of opening business for the elderly. And infirm. So if you are sick or have well, that was the first ones in there anyway. Wasn't nobody getting up early to go to no dollar store? (laughs) Who else was getting up early to get on the dollar store? I, I, boy, listen. They told me. Let me tell you this. I hate people that live on panic. (laughs) (laughs) Hey man, be quiet. They be up there at three a.m. Don't they? (laughs) They be up there at two thirty. As soon as that food stamp hit, boom, in there. Man. I seen, I, you know they had, you know they call uh, Black Friday door buster sales. <laughs> I see them uh, 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 busting them doors <laughs> every time. That's that's they be out there waiting in line at uh, Walmart. Just cause. And uh, look, in a Walmart, you know the Walmart greeters. Right. Oh, uh, they be, they be sitting there waiting. All right, you know that you know that tent is about to drop. You know it's about to drop. You Knowing they're about to get run over. And they be right there, old Stewart. <laughs> Jillian. Just standing there, welcome to Walmart. Welcome to Walmart. Sh- I wonder how many times you can say that a minute. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't say welcome to Walmart and be checking people receipts at the same time. Ain't much check, nobody receipt. <laughs> oh, you know they put in those little uh, corral, the, the corral. Oh, yeah, they got them all, them gates. Going the opposite way. Man, I, I said, boy, I'll jump right over there. You can only go one. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all ain't stopping shit. <laughs> y'all ain't stopping shit. I said, I'll jump right over there. Y'all sit over there. Uh, shout out! Shout out to Shadow. He's a he's a he's a uh, uh, he he be doing uh, uh, corporate uh, what you call it corporate finessing. He be like, shout out to him, man. And um, I did do vaulting. <laughs> in somewhere. high school. So. Going somewhere. <laughs> Listen, they had uh, Shadow be doing that corporate uh, uh, that, that corporate finesse, and uh, you know he, he told he he's the first one to tell me about uh, self checkout. Yeah. He said, "Boy, all you gotta do is just uh, show up and walk out." <laughs> <laughs> that boy had ham, ribs, oh. shrimp. We had we had shrimp fett- fettuccine that day. That he be showing out, <laughs> but I ain't mad. But listen, listen, listen. Shout out to all y'all that's checking it out right now. Appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Listen. So anyway, in regards to this, how do we 
how do we com- how do we combat the coronavirus? How do we co- how do we combat it? And I'm and I'm a scientist. I'll let you go first. All right. So after you use the bathroom, please wash your hands. Wait, My- wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. New things that people are supposed oh, to be doing. New things that people are supposed to be doing. Okay. Apparently, there's this new thing called social isolation, which I practice very frequently, anyways. <laughs> so. <laughs> That boy is active on Tinder and won't talk to nobody. Exactly. <laughs> I'm about as active as I don't want to swipe today. Let me close this app. But, uh, well, I, I, I saw you were swiping real good. Well, go ahead, go, go hey, ahead. I, I see hey, you swiping that, right. That I, 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 I saw you. I, I, I saw you say, look, mom, no hands and was still swiping. I, <laughs> so, hold on. So, yeah, social social distancing. Social distancing. How many feet is it supposed to be? Is it six to ten, or is it ten feet? Like, is it what is it? I I would say yeah, between six to ten feet. I mean, as long as spittle and whatever doesn't get on you, then you should be good. But is handshaking is apparently a no no. Oh uh, yeah, big, big, big time. So yeah. hold on, but isn't this a aerial disease? No. Um, it's actually, not an aerial disease. Yes, it's actually been proven that it is not transmitted through the air. You have to touch somebody or touch a surface that has it. Yes, it is spread through bacterially infested fluid. So, yeah. Well, I'm a scientist, and I, I, I'm a scientist today, y'all. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> last time I checked, it's aerial. It can survive in the air for three minutes. So you got that. You walk past somebody and casually say, "Hi, Miss Lisa," or "Hi, Miss Don." Well, I mean, when you they, can when catch you it. Say hi. You are putting out moisture, which could carry, the, which could disease? carry the back. Yeah, it could carry the virus. Right. That's moisture. Like I'm not. I'm saying like if you're all the way in the living room. No, 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 no. But but if I'm if if I'm walking <laughs> past you, casually. And I say, hello, good morning, good day. Yeah, and I happen to breathe your breath in, definitely. Oh, okay. I was just, I was just, <laughs> I was just, I was just wondering how that works. Anyway, so, so that's how it can be transmitted. Yeah. So, your your advice that's something new is obviously they say the social distancing. What what else is something new that people should be doing that we should not have to educate anybody about? Um, are you at a loss for words too? Surfaces. Um, mm, okay. Keep keep your surfaces clean and disinfected. I mean, that's really pretty much it. If you're going to the store and you're about to touch a shopping cart, just know that the last person that touched that shopping cart could very well have anything. 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 So, so did we know that before this? Yeah. I mean, who didn't? Oh, uh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, that's why I'm asking the question, because I'm not sure. I mean, my the only reason I'm saying it is because apparently people forget these things Hmm. when somebody says pandemic or epidemic or announces a new bacteria or virus. It's like I suddenly forgot how to be clean. I need everyone to remind me. Mm hmm. So I'm not saying be a total germaphobe because that's going to get you nowhere but Mm -hmm. just be safe don't let your babies suck on the handles when they're sitting in the shopping cart (laughs) hold on hold on hold on who babies was sucking on handles in the shopping cart you seen that before somebody let their kid do that um yeah i wouldn't say it if i didn't (laughs) so that's that's the first thing they do you sit them down and they go "Uh (laughs) and try to bite the handle they're teething can't help it. They want to put it? everything in their mouth. I'm not even going to get they're, into that. They're babies. Because I, I, I just wanted to pull my belt out and just go around. And work. Hold on. Listen. So, so <laughs> this is what I'm going to ask you. This is what I'm going to ask you. So, with all that being said, Italy is on lockdown. Uh, San Francisco is on lockdown. Shout out to my boy, Virgil. Much love. He's in the Bay Area. They got him on lockdown. I think Is it 30 days or is it two weeks? I believe it's 30-day lockdown. I think it was 30-day, yeah. So... 
it's not a real lockdown though, right? It's it's just you know you need to go to essential places like the grocery store, the bank for whatever reason, and the weed man. So with all that being said, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, I know I don't smoke, I don't do that. But listen, so so they go to essential essential places, so it's not really locked down, so people aren't really locked down. But how are all these people that have to stay in their homes, especially in places like Italy? I see they over there playing uh, uh playing music together and all that type of stuff, but. How are these people expected to, to survive? I don't understand. How, how are they expected to survive without making no bread? And I know some credit card uh, uh, bills is due. I know some lights is, I'm waiting for mine to oh, go off right now. Yes. And, I, and I'm still working. And I mean, and, and gas, all that stuff is the winter. So That's, what's so how, how, how are folks supposed to survive when you're on total lockdown like I don't that? know about Italy, but in the United States, mm. um, most of the utility companies are actually suspending uh, disconnects. So, as long as you are in the house, or if you remain, or if you're on quarantine, mm-hmm. um, utilities are suspended. Um, things like uh, cell phone service, your data has been upped. Um, internet service, there is no data cap for. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Xfinity and AT and T have removed data caps on service plans and for certain lower speed services they've mm-hmm. actually increased the speed so you can stream and download to your heart's content so if you're stuck in the house and have nothing to do you can watch movies you can do whatever you want to and not have to worry about hitting your cap hitting your limit and you should be kosher check with your company first though <laughs> yeah, cause don't just, just sit up here and listen. Don't don't just sit up here and listen to him. Cause you'll sit up here tomorrow. You'll wake up on the lights be on. Exactly. <laughs> cause somebody very close to me got a phone call that said you're due to be disconnected. I seen that. I yeah. heard it. I don't want to tell nobody who it was. My lights still on. They done sat here and call somebody. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Check with your people. Call them. Say you can't pay it. Um. Bailouts for big for big businesses, so they want to bail out airplanes. Yeah, or air, air, airplane travel companies, commercial is, travel, is yeah, reduced severely. So that's supposed to hurt them. But here's the thing: if you want to travel, you'll give them the bag, correct? Yeah, definitely. So why do they need a bailout? Y'all need to bail me out because people the bail aren't me traveling. out. No, uh, they, no, hold on. Let's talk about me. Okay. Because I, I thought I told you at the beginning of this show. This is your show. I, 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 I thought I told you that. And, and 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 so with that being said, let's talk about me for a second. All right. Now somebody's gonna have to come on, come up with something. Now let's just say that my job decides to tell me that I can't work. Now I got five weeks of vacation. Don't worry about me. Um, with your love and support, I can have as much vacation as I want to. Do you hear me? And the thing is. If I lose my job, okay, I got them five weeks vacation, but they talking about this could go to August maybe. Yeah. And what about the sports? What about the sport? I mean, I'm just sitting over here. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't called my cousin Will. Shout out to Chili Will. I ain't called him and talked to him about no sports or nothing. Now the NFL's still working. They still trading folk and and all that. And Tom Brady played for the Buccaneers and Tampa Bay's never had that much. I, I, Shout out to Florida. Tampa Bay ain't <laughs> Tampa Bay ain't never had that much attention. They they even had went to the Super Bowl and weren't nobody weren't nobody worried about them. Nope. Shout out to Tony Dungy. He built that team. Everybody knows that. Um, but when it comes down to it, you know, ain't no been no ain't been no sports, man. And oh, I just found this out today, early this morning. Shout out to my hoop group chat. Uh I think uh, OG Doughboy dropped this today. Maybe Michael Wynn. Shout out to my boy Michael Wynn. Um, KD, Kevin Durant. Yeah. He got that on Rona. Wow. And three other Nets players. Well. They got that old Rona. Now, who, now where y'all been? Luckily. Now, where y'all been? Because I, I, I thought the NBA was shut down. <laughs> so, where y'all been? What y'all doing? What, who you flying out? Because I know them, 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 them flights is cheap right now. You done flew out one of them girls you done seen on Instagram. Now hold on. So so it's a it's affecting our everyday living. So 
should all these should all these jobs close down? Should everybody's job shut close down? And should everybody get paid? Like, what do you think? What do you think is the right thing to do? Well, I personally think all these businesses closing is not helping matters at all because people need paychecks first and foremost. On top but no, no, we got a we got a president that's gonna give us give everybody some money. If you let them tell you out here, that's what's supposed to happen. Everybody about to get a check. Thousand dollars. That's a thousand dollars. What is that? What is a thousand dollars? What that's gonna do to, for anybody? If the national treasury was my personal bank account, mm. I would be hurting right now. Mm. Just saying. Mm. It's already hurting. I, I heard. Mean, we, I heard we owe some people too. Yeah, but China owes like <laughs> they own like sixty <laughs> percent of the United States. Mm. <laughs> Hold on. So that brings up a that brings up another point. That brings up another point. So this all started in China. It all started in China. Wuhan. Trump pulled out the CDC. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's 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 let me let me take it. Go ahead. By by step by step. So it started in China. Mm-hmm. The whole world knew about it via social media, all that cool stuff. So the whole world knew about it, and then it spread throughout the world uh, eventually. Old Tom Hanks and them guys uh, down there in Australia. Right. You know, somebody in Australia, I ain't had no business in, don't, in no China for nothing. But anyway, so it starts in China, gets here. We knew it was coming. And now it's this big old pandemic. I'm just failing to realize where we didn't expect it. I mean, I thought it was just a China thing because what this started like what a month and a half ago. Yeah, it's been going for a while, and then it got over here. Uh, I think that Indiana has thirty plus deaths about this at this point, <sighs> mm-hmm. or or thirty plus cases. No, they yeah, have two it's, deaths, it's, two deaths in thirty plus cases. That's yeah. what it is. And it was like six new cases last night. So, I just wait last night. Yeah. Just last night. Six, 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 new cases. six new cases. Hold on, wait, 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 hold on. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. Hold on. I got to go get my, uh, uh, my, 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 my peach whiskey. Because that's the cure, if you ask me. Uh, is it, I'm, I'm confused. Alcohol kills viruses, ladies and gentlemen. It, it killed a lot of stuff for me. Relationships, viruses, all that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, you all know I show out for a free. So, I don't know. All that being said, man, um, I just want everybody to be safe. I I don't have it. Do you have it? I ain't been to the doctor, so I wouldn't know, honestly. So you could potentially have it. I could potentially and, have the coronavirus. Sitting over here talking to me. Sitting over here talking Didn't to I tell you this is my show? I did. I did not mean to put you uh, in danger. Uh, 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 excuse me. I got to go on. But I got I to I gotta handle something real quick. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, nah, man. I, hey, at the end of the day, everybody be safe. I don't know what we about to do, but uh, I love y'all. Be safe. Take care of your elderly. Call them. Tell somebody you love them today. Do you hear me? And um, Nate, where can they find you at, man? Do you want them to know your social media? If you don't want them to know it, that's a hundred percent okay. Uh, well, I try not to stay on social media very much, but uh. If you are really curious, my name is my name <laughs> Nathaniel Jordan on Facebook. That's about it. Yeah. I don't do Instagram. I'm lame. I don't do Instagram. Oh I don't God. do Twitter. Yeah, oh, that's drawl. But uh, anything else? No, nah, that's it. Yeah, you don't got nothing else to say. Stay lively. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> And you know it's your boy, Unico Williams. Unico underscore Williams on Twitter. Unico Williams on everything else. And uh, if you feeling a little frisky after first service, first Sunday service, I'll let your boy on Christian Mingle fly swallow me. Mm-hmm. Do you hear me with Unico Williams?